Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Center Back. I'm Jeff Crandall, joined by Kevin Egan. The Chicago Fire opened up the 2014 campaign at Toyota Park with a 1-1 draw Sunday against New York. Uh, Kevin, what were your takeaways from the match? Jeff, first of all, Hefe, looking sharp there, looking very, very dapper compared to me. But when I think about the home opener, it brings me back to two years ago against Philadelphia when it was 65 degrees. The weather in the Windy City was incredible leading up to that game. The pitch was immaculate, which led to free-flowing football. That was not the case last Sunday against New York. The pitch, the ball held up an awful lot on the pitch. And I think back to Quincy Ameriqua's chance early in the first half when he was played through and the ball just stopped. And I think on the day, defenders won out. Baki Samari and John Kennedy Hurtado were very, very good, uh, alongside Matt Watson, who played very well at right back, and of course, Greg Cochran. And New York back line, the exact same, they played well. Offensively, uh, both teams really struggled going forward, and that led to quite an uninspiring game of football. So, 1-1 one, one draw in the home opener, uh, four starters out for the fire, conventional starters out for mm -hmm. the fire. Given everything, was it a good result? Yeah, I think so. Six players started for the first time at Toyota Park. When you look at that New York team that won the Supporters' Shield, let's be honest, nine of them started against the Chicago Fire on the 27th of October. That's an incredible statistic. So the Chicago Fire, a very young team with the likes of Cochran, Hoya and Ship, playing against a wealth of experience in a New York side. So I think to take away a point from that game and to move on to a, a game against DC, I think it's very positive. It should be. The Chicago Fire move on to RFK Stadium this weekend where they take on DC United, another team that's still in search of their first one, hasn't even scored a goal through their first two matches. The Fire have won three of their last four at RFK Stadium. Is this the time the Fire get the first win in 2014? Yeah, I think DC looked a little bit more impressive against Toronto, but it's certainly a good time to play them. Go there, really try and pounce on the counter-attack. I think the Chicago Fire is, you know, it really needs Dilly Duca or Patrick Nyako back just because they can offer that little bit of pace on the flank and really spread the team and, and get some width out there. Uh, so hopefully the Chicago Fire can go there, put on a good performance and get the first win of the season. Catch that game 3 p.m. Central Time Saturday on NBC Sports Network. And by the way, hey, Chicago Fire Weekly, what did you guys think of Jeff uh, Hefe Crandall's debut on Chicago Fire Weekly? Not a bad job, I think we'll have you back to take care of all the tweets and callers next week. Well, thanks Kevin, I think I have a face <laughs> made for radio. But ah, thank no, you. No. But 7 to 8 a.m. ESPN 1000 again, hashtag Fire Weekly. Get your comments and questions into myself, Fred and Jeff. It promises to be a good show again and serve as a little pregame for the football match that starts at 3 p.m. Eastern. Well, for Kevin Egan, I'm Jeff Crandall. Catch us next week on the Centerback. Back.